What up, dude? What are we doing today? We are at LS Fest in Fort Worth, Texas, Texas Motor Speedway. It says everything LS related. So every vehicle here pretty much has an LS swap. There's drag racing, uh, eighth mile, uh, some single car road racing, autocross, drifting, pretty big festival event. I believe it's the first time they've done it here in Texas. It's 98 degrees, it's a hot day. We're gonna take her around and take a look at some cool stuff. This one is a beautiful Lamborghini Gallardo, but it is a less swap. And it's done extremely nice. Twin turbo. Beautifully done. Pretty sweet, told you. Sounds awesome. So ICT billet. They do some pretty much anything you need for swapping NLS into anything, including a K truck. This is a K vet. Supercharged LS and a K truck. The K vet. That's pretty awesome. Beautiful C10 truck in the Willwood booth. This is from Speed and Show. This is a truck I rode in at C10 Nationals. Beautiful LS swap. Willwood all the way around. That's new. Nice airbrush under the hood. Beautiful work. This is an awesome fender flared Nissan Frontier that's autocrossing on the track. Custom Willwood brakes. Those are TC6 calipers. About 15 inch rotors, twin turbo LS under the hood. This is a super neat build. Again, autocrossing. You can hear it in the background. They're drag racing eighth mile. So tomorrow we'll get some footage from the autocross. And we'll try to get some footage tonight when they go drifting. This is a GT86. with an LS single turbo, big single. It's got drag radios on it. Here's a Mustang. That is a wastegate. A twin turbo, LS in a Mustang. This is Jesse's performance. They're local to uh, Fort Worth, Texas, not too far from the Speedway, and they did the GT86, the Mustang, and they've also done their, the rat rod, and check out this beautiful work on this second-gen Camaro. Just a beautiful, beautiful car, along with a nice square-body C10. Their specialty is LS swaps, if you couldn't tell. And the drifting. These are our drift cars. They're going to be going out around 9 o'clock tonight as the sun dips down. And the stadium lights go up. Here's a familiar car. One that I personally helped a little on the brakes. But uh, is under new ownership. We saw this car. Our boy Jackson got to ride in it. At Coda a few months ago, he's out here. He's been ripping it in practice, so it'll be fun to see him going around the track. They're running the infield of Texas Motor Speedway this weekend, and uh, it'll be a treat tonight. Kuki S14 Edelbrock Supercharged LS. Yes, another drift car, but very, very awesome. To me, this is just a throwback to a cool livery from the older OG drift days that I used to be a part of. It just has the look. Very nice car. Fortunato S14 Zenki style. It's going to be fun to see these cars on the track later. Let's get going. We're going to be at a truck show next week, or not next week, sorry, next month. And we're going to see a lot of this. 
which is cool. Big old Jeep with some big old tires. I saw this car rolling earlier. It's a G body El Camino, so mid 80s El Camino. Beautiful Magnuson Supercharger LS. Of course, we're at LS Fest. So much black, so clean. Super, super nice. All right, so we're pretty much done for day one. This was day one of LS Fest. Uh, we're gonna go, we'll film some of the drifting and then we'll head out and then we'll be back tomorrow. But before tomorrow, because it doesn't start the afternoon, we're gonna go to turn 14 and we're gonna hit up turn 14's cars and coffee tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get to see the GR Corolla for the first time in person. And that'll be really cool. We'll take y'all with us. See you tomorrow. So I'm sitting in the new GR Corolla right there. All wheel drive, turbocharged GR. Beautiful car. Here at Turn 14's Cars and Coffee. Turn 14's Cars and Coffee here in Arlington. Check out the fenders, the wide body, very nice. And here's the new GR Supra, and it's not just an A90. Check out the paint though, I don't know if the uh, camera's gonna pick that up, but the pearlescent metallic is nice, but it's got a stick shift in it. Bam, manual transmission, beautiful interior. It's a beautiful Nissan Laurel. You don't see these very often. Check out that interior, it's so clean. Nice pair of R33 Skylines. And this midnight purple one is gonna be our favorite because this is wifey's favorite color. So nice, check that out. Look at the interior. There's a kid that's having a great time on the way home today. So we got here a bit late this morning. We had to do some work prep for LS Fest, but all this was filled earlier, according to the guys from Turn 14, our boy Sam Dew, who was in charge of the Pit Paddock publication for Turn 14 and organized these. Beautiful A90 Supra. Very nice Corvette, C5, another one. Check out the color on this A90. This is a sweet color. Very, very nice. about 102 today again day two of ls fest hope you like a little bit on uh cars and coffee there at turn 14 and we got drifting in the background so let's go watch is presented by Holly and this is the Holly booth beautiful lowrider check out all the awesome Holly products and this is the homie of the other K truck an off-road version check out this time attack C5 
super nice. So we're rolling through LS Fest in a golf cart with Scott from Scott's Rides Garage. And there's drift cars. We saw them a little earlier. There's a bunch of merch. Scott, take us to the autocross. Go on to the autocross. Go on to the autocross. They got the three stop challenge going on. So this is the car show area. They line them up all here. Uh, to the other side of the car show is where we saw the drifting. And they're running an autocross thing there too, right? Yeah, they did Trek X over there. So it's like a real fast autocross. Yeah, it's like a, the, 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 in, the infield road course as an autocross, I think is how they're running it. Yep, it's like it's, uh, it's in between autocross and road race. It's kind of like a one lap road race. One lap road race, so time attack. Let's call it that. Yeah, that makes more sense. So they got trams from the outside to the inside. We saw Holly there yesterday, There's more vendors over there, but we're gonna go out to the autocross track. So way up there is all the grandstands where people are watching the eight mile drag. The dyno. Oh, there's the dyno over there. That's a C6 on the dyno. Sweet GTO Le Mans body. Awesome Willwood pedal assembly because it's got Willwood reservoirs there. It's fully built autocross. Now we didn't miss the autocross, but they just redid the track. They're going to be running the Speed Stop Challenge. Awesome autocross truck built by Scott Rod's Garage. Our boys, check out these louvers. Now this is a Dodge D100. Okay, it's running an LS. It's driven by Jeff, the fabricator over at Scott Rods. Check that out. Okay, that's an independent rear suspension out of a newer Dodge Charger. Pretty cool. You remember our road trip? We stopped at No Limit Engineering. This is one of their trucks they run in the autocross. They're going to be doing the speed stop challenge as well. Beautiful. I believe Rob is driving this, the owner of No Limit, this weekend. Should be fun. Beautiful Camaro. Awesome color. He's, again, we're in the autocross section, so. Well equipped, big brakes, Willwood, everything. Very nice. So this is the Speed Stop Challenge. So they're coming around the track and they got to hit certain markers as fast as possible. So they're working their brakes and they got to stop inside that box without going through it as close to the end as possible. So they took the chicane out of this one. So they are going to leave the starting, go here. They got one, two, three spots they need to hit as fast as possible, but on their brakes. So braking and balance and suspension. This is no limits truck. Our our boy Robin, no limit, looking hot. Suspension, brakes, and acceleration. done done because this goes till nighttime but I showed you everything or a little bit of everything we didn't get out to the drag strip but some awesome vehicles LS Fest I got Scott's boy take me back to the booth and uh, I'm gonna be done for the day so if I slip anything else in I will but I think uh, we got about everything we wanted to see and uh, some cool footage I hope you all enjoyed that have a great week God bless